night thrift haul take two looks like we're actually live there people on there i don't know okay, there's two people it's public they're there Wait, they found us okay all right so <laughs> sorry about that if you guys had to hop out and hop back in we go live every saturday night at 8 30 mountain time and we show you the junk that we have thrifted and people have given to us and we tell you what we pay for it what we're going to sell for and what we will do with it if it needs something done today there's a lot of things that actually need zero things done sorry did i put the wrong stool well yeah i said on the short one Oh, sorry. It's been so long since we've been in the kitchen. Happy Halloween to everybody. Halloween was a success. Yes, we went to the entire neighborhood. Lots and lots of um, fun ideas for social distance trick-or-treating. We had Pac-Man where they like set up glow sticks and they had all the candy on their driveway and then lots of shoots. We just stuck it in a bucket on the front porch and turned our light on, but you know, it also <laughs> We worked. weren't even home. We were out trick-or-treating with the kids, so. Yeah. They yeah. got a ton of candy. In fact, a lot of the full candy. size candy bars went quick. I know. I, I always do full size and then I have leftovers for when the full size runs out. But the boys already put their key treats in the treat jars because we just share around here. So we're super excited about that. And we are going to get started on our thrift haul. If you haven't done so, make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe and notifications bell below so you never miss a video. Okay. Big, we have a, a several clocks. A lot of this is thrifted. Some of it was left on our back porch over at the shop. Yep, and I'm not sure who left it on the back porch. And some of it came from my sister in Arizona. So, all right, this is an awesome clock. This was one that was left on the so back porch. So it says porch. England Clockmaker, um, but it also has PS Clock and some Chinese province of China, something or other. Way high, Shane Dong. <laughs> I know it has a little spot in the what's that spot in the bottom though? This was a pendulum, but the pendulum's gone. So it's pendulumless. And we are gonna sell it for $29.95. And I may or may not paint it, but at this point I'm not painting it. I'm just gonna clean it up because I think it's cool just dark like that. I like yeah, it. Yeah, well the face on it is good. We buy clocks based on the face. And I don't have my batteries on me, and I wasn't with Jamie when uh, oh no, this was left on the porch, huh? Yeah. Oh, also, if there's anything you want from the thrift haul, you can go to jrvhome.com, look up Saturday Thrift Haul, and all the items will be there. Unless you're watching this on a replay two months later, then the newest ones will be there. Yeah, you'll find the new items. You'll be like, hey, this is one Why of the Why are we at the house today? Because it's Halloween. Because we were, yeah, we were off trick or treating with the kids, and then we just popped in the house and... Yeah, we didn't want to be away from home on Halloween, so... All right, another clock. This is a shelf sitter. It's got fun brass feet. And let me just. It's me, really uh, cool. I like that one. It's got like good detail. Lots of fun molding on there. And it's a good size. And it will be painted. I actually like the door on the back. Yeah, it has a door on the back. That's the best part. With a I feel like hinges. they're classy when they have a door on the back. All right. I like the decorative swirls on that one. That's what um, Bass Life says. Oh no, Corey says, our neighborhood is a war zone with trees down, no trick-or-treaters. My in-laws live in Ooh. Alabama, they have a bunch of trees down too. Yeah, their, their uh, zip line tree went down. Yeah, their zip line's down. All right, clock. Oh yeah, speaking of clocks, ironically that we're showing clocks, um, it is... Daylight savings time. You need to fall back an hour so you get an extra hour to sleep in the morning, which I'm super excited about. So don't forget it to only, change your clock. It only feels good until you're like, oh, I'm up way too late, and then you have to wake up the next day. <laughs> All right, let's get the small grand. No, the one in front of that one. Oh. That one was also left on our porch. It's $14.95. It's little and cute, and we're gonna paint it. This one's getting painted. So let's put that in the paint pile. Now, not everything is painted on the thrift haul night because while we do this one try has to like be a, superhuman, we don't always get all Yeah, that. this one has a little ding on the back, but paint will fix that and cover that up. We'll hide that situation. Okay. I'm going to just show all the clocks since we're yep. on a roll with this the clocks. This one has a cherub pendulum and we're not painting it and it's twenty two ninety five. I cannot confirm if the pendulum works. Like I said, I'm battery, battery less tonight. We're going to, we'll make sure they The back is missing, but sure. you know, it's a, a shelf sit her up against the wall it does so this it's is not a party finished. in the back yeah i like the pendulum can you take that out and show it to him um well it looks like you just did yeah, show oh, do you need to show him close? the pendulum on that one is really really cool okay 
ones on here. Caitlin, did you go trick or treating with the boys? I saw a picture of her boys all dressed up. I don't know. I didn't read the caption though. Oh, the last clock is sold. Caitlin says. This one. This one here that we're painting. Um, I don't know. And then we have this one. It looks like it may have been attached to something, but maybe not. Um, but it's it's heavy. This this part here is cast iron. Looks it's like. like a French style. It's metal. We called it the metal French clock. And it and... does have a battery option. It looked I thought it was going to be wind up, but it takes a battery. Yeah, it's more modern. Um, I put it at nine ninety five because I don't think it's actually old, but I have. Oh, pulled it. you have to pull these off. To take out the back. Yes. It's metal. That's cool. I thought it was. Metal. Yeah, the whole thing is metal. Okay, it is battery operated and not completely um, vintage looking because it looks like it's got some green glow yeah, on the like hands. Yeah, it's made to look old, but it's cool. Okay, so we we'll... 9 all day long. Question, I just bought an ATV set. How can I paint them to look more ethnic? Um, you can just use different skin tones. Um, you could paint their colors in different, like their clothes in different patterns depending on how big, big it is. You could do like cool um, patterns based off of the ethnicity that you're trying to um, look like. So I would try that out, see how it works. And you don't necessarily, some people think you have to like detail paint it. You could just paint them all one color and that would be- Oh, cool the Corn too. Bellies Festival is doing fireworks. Oh yeah, fireworks are going off. It's not a war zone. We are right by a fall festival and they do fireworks every Friday and Saturday and Halloween's is a big display. All right, that is all the clocks. Let's... Jessica said you played taxi for your 15 year old. Well, both our girls are at different friends' houses, so. Yeah, Odelia says party. she has a ride home. She's at a Halloween party from one of the, her cheer friends. Um, but we'll see. I'm like, if it goes past midnight and you're not, you haven't well, arranged a ride, I will come get you. Maybe we could just let Eliza stay the night and I don't have to go anywhere. No, then we have to pick her up tomorrow. It's true. All right. Glass options. This is a big container that's perfect. You can see ours in the back over here. Oh, you can't see them, Jamie. Oh, oh no, you can yeah, see yeah. them there's, right there. There's our three. Now, the boys thought... came home and probably filled them up with candy they want to share, and they candy that is just for Redrick and Jack. See, they filled up the jar for us. <laughs> really, Redrick and Jack are the ones that eat all the candy. Odelia doesn't do sugar. Eliza has her own. Harrington moved out. My parents and Zeb and I don't eat a ton. <laughs> So the boys are the only ones going to eat it anyways. I'm like, just I, put it on the counter. I did snag some uh, Reese's fun Peanut size cups. Reese's cups and some fun size Heath bars. I make them join their candy because it's too much of a, that's my candy, that's her candy. Like just separate it, chocolate and not chocolate because you don't want it to mix. It's gross. So we got these two big jars. Tell me about the pricing on okay, these. Okay, well, see what the pricing was on the bottom because I can't remember. Did they take the tag um, off? The tag is not oh, hold on. whole. Five. Five dollars for this one. Hey, what was the other one? This one is tag less. We oh no, two. this one was three. So the big $3. one was five. The one that's half its size was three. So this one already sold for $24.95, which is a big deal. Like, yeah, that one fits inside that one. And I think I did the small one. You Let's could do like a I little snow it. globe theme inside of a theme. Or you could just put cookies in it because that's what I do. That is a lot. This one's cookie jar size. This one, I would say, would be fun with, like, flour or something in it. I would say that could fit a costco size amount of cookies. Okay. Or, like, when you're getting ready for a holiday party. The, my concern for cookies in this size is that by the time you should uh, reasonably eat them, they, they will have gone bad. bad. <laughs> yes, for that many cookies. All right, so it's candy huge. in that one. But... These little ones are $12.95 and we pay $3 each. One actually already sold. Oh, we have there's two one over here yeah. too. They're both this about one's big. a little bit bigger. They're Well, oh. they're just different. So right? these ones are the same size. Are they? they're, yeah, they're identical. This is okay. like a matching set essentially. Okay, well, that's good because I listed them as the same. They're $3 each on here. So this one actually already sold and one of those already sold. But $24.95, if you guys see these while you're thrifting, grab them. they grab them. They clean up so well and you can decorate them with different things in the season and you can use it for home decor but if you're a reseller these look so good the nice thick glass they're just a beautiful display like to do soaps in well we have one about this size just a clear glass jar without a lid with that has pins. all our rolling pins with the fun colored handles and when one sells we just drop another one in there and it always looks good yeah it's a great way to display it so keep your eyes out for those 
Man, and I'm kind of jealous because that jar is big. I thought my jar was big, but that jar makes my jar look like a little baby situation. A little baby jar? A little baby jar. Okay. And then... Put pretzel rods in the large one. Oh, yeah. That would be good. That would, that... Oh, Cynthia says she put laundry soap. You know I did, Cynthia? Costco had these big mason jar replicas, and so I bought those way back when, and I've got one that has the pods in it. One that's got the smelly beads, one with the OxyClean in it, and one with dryer sheets. And the funny thing is that we ran out of pods, and all my kids know how to do the laundry. And Redrick knows he's not allowed to use the liquid laundry soap that we have as backup, so he had my mom wouldn't wash his pants. <laughs> she's and like, so I'll he, do those tomorrow if like, you want I'll them wash washed. Your pants tomorrow. He wanted to wash, so he washed them, and my mom's like, did you use soap? He's like, no, nope, we were out of pods and I'm not allowed to use the liquid. So he just used smelly beads. <laughs> His laundry smelled so good. It smelled good and he used hot water. So we called it, it was, clean. It was clean. It was good. So these are, I want to say, these are like something that Luhu would have come in. That I want, they're smaller than a milk, uh, little milk jug, but they've got like this greenish blue tint to them. I don't think the camera is going to do it justice or pick it up because it's really faint. Oh, if I hold it like that, you can kind of see on this side here, the bluish tint or really the glass is thicker. But we have seven of them. And I paid 75 cents for the for each of them. They're oh, no, 25 cents. 25 cents for each of them. Normally at the thrift store, these are like a dollar a piece. Yeah. So I priced them how I always price, like milk jugs. Normally I do like $3 each or $4 each or whatever, $3.95. But instead of pricing them individually, I just have the set of seven bottles for $19.95. There's no indication on here except for this one says N30112. And then there's like these dots on the this front. This one says N230112. Oh, you can kind of see the dots up there on the top. Yeah, I don't know what they are. But the lot of seven of them is $19.95. So I like to sell things like this in a set because rather than sell like one jar for $3.95 and another jar for $3.95, I'm like, just buy all of them that, for $19.95. This jar lift was almost sketch. You set almost is, lost one of the jars. down is sketch. I should have carried like three at once. <laughs> Jen says A for effort for following the rules, right? Oh, Mary Lou says, I'm late tonight, but I have to say Napoleon and Pedro were awesome. Oh, yeah. They're Eliza. so good. Eliza and Lily have been best friends since they were like two. Well, and how long they... have we, we started watching Lily? How old was she? Well, she was a baby, but they weren't really friends then. No, but, but like that's really... how long she's been coming to the house yeah. since Eliza was like a baby baby. And they're the same age, but Lily is a full head shorter than Eliza. So like the height difference looks good. The skin tone's correct because Eliza's really pale and Lily's brown skin. And so they just are Pedro and Napoleon. It's hilarious. Uh, and they came with well, the and, all that and Eliza did some research on the character, so she um, she was like wearing the wig, and she was all smiley. I'm like, you're way too smiley to be Napoleon. We showed her pictures. And so she watched. A, she'd never seen the movie, so she watched a little bit of it. She learned his dance routine that he did. Like she knows the whole routine. She learned it in like half an hour because she's a dancer. She had to learn <laughs> the routine though, and not she, smile. Yeah, it's a silly but dance. She's a performer. She's been performing since she was two. So when she dances, she's like. So she had to... She had to tone it back. <laughs> this it's, is like mercury glass here. It is. So if you're watching, a couple people said it was blurry. If you're watching, hop out and hop back in because I'm watching on my phone and it's not blurry here. Yeah, it's uploaded in HD and some people have been complaining that it's been uh, blurry the last few times. You can select like different definitions that you can watch. And if your internet is slow or having issues, it'll drop you down to the lowest setting. So you might be watching like in 280, whatever, 280p instead of like full HD. Well, I think a lot of people are at home on the internet tonight too. Yeah. All right, so this is the big mamma jamma. They both have a rope. They're sold this individually. One, this this one has one, a handle rope. This one is 1995. That one has like a metal band around it. Yeah, it's cool. Um, and do, 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 let me find the... Ivy, and that one is $12.95 for the little one. So $19.95 and $12.95. They're really cute. Mercury glass always sells really well for me. Anything metallic. Let's here. 
All right, I've got a couple of frames. I'm going to put this clock down here. <laughs> like, Zeb has woodworking skills and stamping skills. Don't know about nunchuck skills. Um, my nunchuck skills are stellar. <laughs> I only hit myself six or five times every time. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so cute frames going to be painted. We have two. They are $19.95. Frames are always winning, and the cute. What I like to do with them is hang a wreath from the inside and hang it on my front door, for like a little bit different. Not everybody has a framed wreath. You can easily hang these from your front door. So we're gonna paint those. Those are in the two paint pile, nineteen ninety five each. And I know some people are gonna be, be like, "Oh, gold's in. Don't paint it. We will bring the gold back through." We're bringing gold back. I'm actually thinking just like a white white paint on these mm -hmm. it's been a while since we've, we've been doing like apothecary and lots of blues lately i'm thinking just a regular straight up white with the gold coming through would have like a really good holiday farmhouse feel to it but does he have a liger is that from the movie too <laughs> yes he drew a liger all right so somebody wants to talk about the phone the phone actually did sell I didn't know if it would because I put in the listing. I don't know if it works because I have zero ways to check it. We don't have a landline here. We don't have a landline at the shop. It's not even legit old. I mean, it's decently old, but it has push buttons. Yeah, so but it looks cute. like a rotary phone, but they're actually a push button. And it uh, it needs a good scrub, but we will I think wipe it down before we ship it. it. It has sold. It has the look, though. Yeah. It has the look of a very old phone. So if you're trying to set up like... A cute vintage vintage. Yeah, like something that you would want to look old. Like this would really top it off. Or even just to like put this in a cupboard with some old stuff. It would be good. Oh, Carrie got it. And we sold it for $19.95. I think it may have came from Pottery Barn. Because my mom had one like that that was red. And hers came from Pottery Barn. I think she spent like 60 or so. That's called the Grand Phone. The Grand Phone is from Pottery Barn? No. Oh. Okay. I mean, I, I can't confirm or deny that. I just remember when they used to have them. It's I used to be real in to Pottery Barn. Oh, Jean says it does work. It's from Kate. Kate dropped it off. So the things that we got off the back porch that weren't from my sister came from Kate. Jean was there when she dropped it off. All right. This might be one of the coolest things. It's just this wooden toy wagon. It needs a paint job. Somebody in the 1980s gave it a very cute folk art paint job, but I was thinking tonight we'd paint it and make it look Christmassy. Oh, that would be good. Like It needs like a little Christmas. repair on this handle, too. Yeah, wouldn't it be so cute to put Christmas trees in it or little presents for a display? All of its wheels work. I love that there's Napoleon Dynamite fans on here. Oh, man, it's one people of my are, favorite people movies. People are dropping one-liners like nobody's I probably watched that movie 40 or 37 times So I paid it when it for that and we enlisted it for $12.95 and it has already sold so definitely gonna paint that I just it looked like a cool old wooden um, <laughs> okay hey don't touch my wagon wagon can you did can you, you know you that I made a small living as a child out of the back of a wagon what did you sell sodas cold waters <laughs> uh, why why did I not know this where were you in Mesa no, in Baghdad. In Baghdad. Baghdad, Arizona, small mining community in Arizona. Not like Baghdad in the Middle East. Nope. I learn new things about you every time. It's only, it's about an hour and a half uh, northeast of Prescott. Jana, the telephone's Northwest. already sold. Sorry about that. It sold before we showed it. This is an exceptionally cool glass pitcher. Little Fonda. I actually used to have a shirt that said, Tina, you fat lard, come get your dinner. And it had the llama on it. The llama. And people were like, oh, that's not a nice shirt. I'm like, it's from a movie. <laughs> the movie is so great. What do you want to bet? I can throw this football over that mountain. I don't even, Eliza hasn't even seen the movie. That's the thing that's hilarious. All right, what is that? Oh, that is the picture. Let me pull This picture, it's, it's so cool. It's not cut. It's, it's molded. But this is raised, not indented. And I would, I would say that this would hold a quart of liquid, which is perfect for syrup Good or amount. gravy. Um, and I have it listed at $9.95. It's a small glass pitcher, but show them the bottom. It actually has a star on the bottom. Oh, there is a star. And I paid $1.50 for it. But it's yeah. definitely vintage. 
Um, it's super cute, and it's got a nice big spout on it. I'm going to take this sticker off so you can see the It's about 6 inches by 6 inches by 4 inches, and for $9.95, I feel like that's a good price. You know, if we already didn't have a pitcher full of caramel syrup in the fridge, I would be tempted to say You guys want to see something? The pitcher. So we, we made a double batch on accident because I put too much milk in the in the boom the caramel this is our pitcher i think the tin foil is stuck yeah the i've had it out and reheated it a time or two yeah this is what we keep our caramel so syrup this in. is the caramel syrup currently solid needs to be heated up and but it's nice thick glass and yes i did buy this at the di so when i tell you about like a syrup pitcher like i mean like a syrup pitcher <laughs> we like to make extra so we don't have to make it every week. But this is just a shorter, wider version. This would work. We're real classy, so we use aluminum foil. You know what? It keeps the it keeps the hot dog smell out of it. We don't even have hot dogs in here. There are little smokies oh. in the drawer, and I ate a bunch of them the other night. These are un uncured beef smokies, all natural, free range pork. I thought they tasted upscale hot dogs. It's not hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> this was a dollar, and this, this cool. might be the find of the week. This is has cast that sold iron. Yet? Has that sold yet? This Hold is on. cast iron, and it's old. Like, this wear is not something that someone's tried to duplicate. Well, it hasn't sold. All right, it's $16.95, and I paid $1. I almost passed up because it didn't look like cast iron, but I thought the kitty was cute, and I picked it up, and I'm like, wait a second. Who doesn't need a kitty doorstop that's that's holiday themed. I mean, it's got a red ribbon Christmas. and a bells on it. It's a cat. It's cast iron. That's the trifecta of doorstops right there. There's some cat lover that's going to want that. It's got a little bit of dust on it, but I think the rest of it is just, you know, it's worn over time or someone's painted it, but it's good. It's called a federal glass pitcher and the kitten has sold. Well, that was fast. It and must have just cat happened. Cat stuff is wildly popular. I mean, if you own cats, you got to have some cat stuff. I just can't believe the cat. I thought it was going to sell the second one went live. All right, so this is also a cool item. I had to look it up. This is, so I would say that this is like where you put like your stuff, and then this is the appropriate amount of like, you know, I need a little sugar or I need a little bit of salt. That's why I got a lot of salt. So it's a Victorian silver. Or tea. Sugar scuttle with small scoop. Okay, and so it's tarnish free. So I mean, it has a little it, tarnish, it does but have you somewhere. don't have to polish this particular silver. You could use this. Um, it says on the bottom. See, there's a sticker. Tarnish resistant, clean with soft, damp cloth, no silver polish, made in Japan. So it's made in Japan, which comes with a made scoop. In Japan is always really good. And I saw these on Etsy's anywhere from like thirty to fifty dollars, so I priced it like twenty twenty two ninety five. The scoop goes right Victorian in there. Victorian style. Look at that. It's good. It's I like it a lot. I've never seen anything like it, and it came, I believe, either it came from my sister, from the box from my sister. Well, good job, Deborah. Yeah. Well, I think also Mary Beth. Mary hey, Beth. Lynn, was it Mary Beth or my sister? Oh, welcome Diana to Creative Business. Caitlin just dropped the email. You're going to need to email Mariah and she will get you into our group. And we have a video coming up on Tuesday. Yep, we're back. We took a week off because we oh, do... Oh, it's from Mary Beth. Oh, Mary okay, Beth. It's Mary Beth. She had that a good... That was a good one. Yeah, she gave a good box. All right, okay, all we've got some, priced together. We've got some tarnished silver. This is all a group, a grouping here. Yeah, because I'm, I'm all about the groups tonight. Okay. Why sell one when I can sell all? So you've got tarnished silver. It's got really good coloring on it. Look how cool like, that is. Definitely that one's good. Normally, I sell these for $6.95 each in the shop, but I decided to sell this whole set for $22.95. So, slightly cheaper than if I sold them individually. But they're cool. Look at this. Oh, careful. Don't lose the copper. Look at the detail on that one. Show them that one. Oh, yeah, that's good too. And is this like a cake server? I think so. What does this say on this cake server? I can't read it. Uh, and then I really like this salad. This is like a salad slash I need to get a bunch of bacon. It says community plate. I'm trying to show you the design on this without getting too much glare. Let's see if we can. Okay, there you can kind of see it. It has this fun carving on it. 
Oh, super chat. Thanks, Jessica. Hopefully I can manage to do it right this time. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Kim says that's a strawberry spoon. She collects these. Was oh, it, which nice. one is the strawberry spoon? The one with the slotted or the seashell? I'm guessing the slotted one. This says International Silver Co. Original Rogers. And then this one is something Butler. Uh, so anyways, $22.95. It's a berry spoon. It's an instant cool collection. I like that, Tracy. So this is home and plate on nickel silver WM mounts made in USA. 01039, four and a half pints. So Tom a little said over he half gallon. Sell tarnished silver. We have to give it away. Oh yeah. Tarnished silver sells big time. Tom, if you're giving I away. I want the cat doorstop for nothing. Remember who born you. Mom had already sold. It was sold before you came out with I'm your sign. I'm sorry, I didn't know you wanted the cat door shop. Jamie's mom's trying not to make any noise, so she comes out with this fun sign that she's got. <laughs> she, she wanted can't, the can't door shop. Now, mom, you gotta show them the sign. Come, come on, come, come show around. Them the they sign. gotta see how cute you are. Come on. She's like, my hair's camera. not done. You look great, mom. Mom, you're 81. And you're cute. My mother made this sign. <laughs> Somebody beat my mom to it. <laughs> it's all right. We'll find you I'll another one. I'll find you another one. Your father dared me. Your father dared <laughs> you. After I told you guys not to come out of your room. <laughs> Don't you dare come out and get a drink. <laughs> mom guilt. All right. Okay. Uh, we didn't. We didn't talk about how much that cost. Get the, pull, pull that back over here. Okay. George. All right. Hold on just a second. Now I, gotta I have a lot of tarnished silver to show you. What did it say on the bottom? How much was how much did it cost? I think I marked it at twenty two ninety five. It was. I found this not in collectibles. It was five dollars. Five dollars, and I'm gonna sell for twenty two ninety five. Tarnished pictures sell really good. This one's really nice and thick, and it's got this cool rose detail. So Tom, I, I don't know why they can't sell tarnished silver because you we, know what, Tom, you say if you're giving it away, just save that in a pile one of these days. I'll make it out there, and I'll load it up. Mama Bear Blue, can you bring me my chapstick? My lips hurt real bad. Not chapped lips. Okay, so we've got bowls here. And I don't know that this is, uh, is this a, uh... Yeah, these are all tarnished silver. Are these separate or a collection? They're listed separately, so you'll have to just look for the bowls. Um, and they're $12.95 each. This was inspected by number 11. This is Gotham Electroplated. This one here has a plastic liner it's very shiny inside no. someone's been using that liner i know. don't think the plastic liner adds to it i would ditch the plastic liner if it was mine because you know i'm not going to actually probably put food in there but sally i'll you know. tell my mom you said hi she's really cute okay and then we have this bowl that's up on like a little pedestal it's like a little pedestal i think it'd be good for like candy or your change Let's see, this is WMA Rogers by Oneida oh, yeah. Silversmiths. You found a lot of that. I don't know where the heck I put that one, but I'm pretty sure I, oh, there it is, hold on, slow, slow. I marked out $14.95. So just the basic tarnished silver, usually about $12.95. This one's $14.95. I like the pedestal on it. This is yeah. heavy. That's a good like one. It's got a good weight to it. And then this one, Paul Revere Reproduction Oneida Silver. $12.95. $12.95. This all came from Mary Beth. Whoop, whoop. Good job, Mary, Mary Beth. Beth is my adopted sister, in case anybody's wondering. All right. We adopted her when she was like 50. Okay. These are cool, especially like uh, just for doing like a setting or something, even if you don't have the dish that goes in there. I don't know what I put that one at. That one came from Miss Mary Beth, twelve ninety five. I actually think it's really cool to put a piece of wood in the bottom and then turn it into like a centerpiece for mm -hmm. like a coffee table because these have a little bit of a lip on the bottom to hold the dish in. So if you just measure it out and put a thin piece of wood in there and stain it, you can make a really unique tray that you can put on your coffee table. These are fun to upcycle. I've also seen people hang them on a wall and put like a little I think that would be cool it. with like a piece of wood in there and like your salt and pepper shakers on the top of it or something like that. Yeah, it's really cute and it's got roses on it. So yeah, tarnished silver already. Little dish. Well. That one I thrift 
did. I think it was like $1. a dollar fifty. Yep. And I think that size, when I get that small, I usually price around six ninety five. But I read and Barton ten sixty a. Let's see, six ninety five. I was correct. This is great for like the nightstand to hold like your rings, your watch. Maybe it's a little small for a wallet. You know what we should do? We should organize the thrift haul by how I have it in the. Yeah, maybe someday we'll be that organized. That would be like way too organized. All right. This is the Boho Brash Dish. It already sold. $16.95. If it didn't sell, I was just going to ship it to Debbie because I feel like it's totally her style. And I think it has a tag. I paid $1.50. It says made in India and it originally came from like a mart probably in the 70s. It's got one of those like older looking tags on the bottom. And I, this, this looks to me like it's hand painted inside because it's kind of imperfect. It could be. But it's got really cool coloring and I loved like the arabesque cut out all around the side. But somebody liked it as much as I did. Oh, Delia loved this. She saw this and liked it. So this has like little cherubs as the legs and very ornate detail on it. It's like a brass uh something filigree is what i would call filigree it. Yeah. but it's got a glass top very very well made made in japan two dollars and i sold it for 16.95 which i actually think is a steal because i feel like if you were in an upscale boutique it'd, it'd probably, probably be like, be like 40, 40 or 50. 50 bucks but <laughs> we aren't an upscale boutique very shishi french it goes well with those little um chair bells that we had last week those are in the antique collection by the way whoever bought that if you want the little chair bells Find those and you can have a little cherub set situation. Does that have any markings on that? I'm not silver seeing tray? it. I don't know how old it actually is. It has Phillips screws holding the handles on. Well, it did. And it, the description says it has a loose handle. Which I will fix. So bonus, Seb's going to fix it for you. $22.95 is a nice, heavy, like, weight. It's got a good tarnish to it. And it's got a really pretty scallop detail. And you can't tell but there is some like etching in it. And I actually think it is, even though it has Phillips, those aren't modern Phillips. Those are the ones with like the littler heads. So I would say like 70s-ish is probably when it was made. Cause newer screws have like the bigger slits in them. Okay. Oh, Mary Beth said the sugar scuttle was actually a nut holder with a scoop that she got for her wedding in 1972. Oh. Mary Beth didn't wind up saying married to that person so she didn't like give away a wedding present that was sentimental in case anybody's like oh. all right you can take the wiggly handle description off of that because it is wiggly no more wiggly no more well it already sold so oh well it's coming to you fixed christine says thank you i wouldn't be able to fix it myself so she appreciates she must have been who bought it well there you christine, go christine it's done fixed and it's cool it's nice and big and it is the perfect time of year to get ready for serving trays Oh, Jessica said that their bedroom is cherubs. Well, awesome. So this one is cool because this is, oh no, that's cast. It's not, it's like pressed glass. But it has these glass serving trays in here. So if you're worried about the tarnished silver getting on whatever you're serving, you just put the glass trays in there. But the serving tray also has a lot of really cool detail on it. So tarnished silver tray, it's listed for $19.95, has little feet. I actually like it better without the glass, but if you were doing like a relish tray at a fancy baby shower. Thanksgiving dinner is coming. Like we're like. Thanksgiving dinner, is this just for one person? No, this is this is just for like your cranberry sauce. You put some olives in here, maybe some carrots. Pickles, Cornish. Pick, well, Cornish pickles, yeah. Or whatever. What's that like, fancy the, name these are These are like small sides. Okay. Because I'm like, and I, you know what? We usually eat it out at the Brazilian Steakhouse, which is a buffet, and they bring you steak. But We're I'm wondering worried. with the situation, if the Brazilian Steakhouse won't be open. If I like, have to cook for Thanksgiving? Jamie's like, if I have to cook for Thanksgiving this year, all bets are off. Gherkins, <laughs> that's the fancy pickle. She yes, can gherkins. cook a really banging Thanksgiving dinner, but she prefers not to. I do retail. Thanksgiving weekend is real busy. Who's going outside? I'll check. Jack Melvin Jr. He's checking on the candy bowl. Jack is checking on the candy bowl. Have you just, Jack, are they done trick or treating? Sorry. 
Will Harrington come home for Thanksgiving? No, because even though school ends at Thanksgiving for his university, he's wrestling. So he has to wait until December because they don't want to send him home and then send him back because of the situation. Yeah. So. All right, lots of copper coming up. Some of it is like uh, plated and plated tin, and some of it is actual copper esque. And this might be plated no, as well, but looks, this is real copper this with is brass. Like handles. legit situation there. So we'll show you the real copper first. It's pressed. It's copper. It's, co with little it's brass. copper plated. Let's see if I can find this little set. This set. It's got the so brass cute. little eyelet there. And then there's Very a bunny. Farmhouse. So and the, then we've got a duck. A duck, rabbit, and a chicken. They're $22.95 for the set of three. And they are copper, and some of them have a little bit of tarnish with the brass. So very French country. Like French country farmhouse all the way here. It's like legit. Also from Mary Beth. Mary Beth for the win. She's got cool stuff. She, she, she must have cleaned out her garage. She was loaded with good stuff. Did you get a lot of trick-or-treaters this year? Oh, yeah. We went through two uh, boxes of Costco full-size candy bars. Some of them we gave away at the shop because we always do that. And then we had a huge bag of Costco candy like this big, and it's probably more than half gone, isn't it? Yeah. Um, how big are these? They're not... I don't think they had the measurements in the listing. They're not super big. I would say about five, five inches. inches. Five yeah. inches across in, in diameter. Yeah, they're really, really cute. I like them. So if they don't sell, they're going up to the farmhouse. They're something I would definitely put up. Okay, this is also real copper. This is a bunny, big one. This is a little bigger to give you a size reference. And they would go, they would pair nicely together. This also has Did you a just say brass hanging. They would pair nicely together. Shh, stop it. I love that you talk like that. So nine ninety five. I should probably have. Pre this I'm just trying so to channel like how I you didn't would. How big that was. How you would put this on a shelf in the kitchen. I had it nine ninety five, but didn't sell yet. So I'm raising it to twelve ninety five because I. It reminds it me when copper. we were in um, Monet's garden. They we were going bunch. through his house, and they had copper pans, but they had a bunch of other copper stuff, and it was all just hanging together on the back of this really ornate tile like kitchen wall, and it was cool. Yeah, this I think it's cool. in our video. I and put it, that in our video. It that we does did. pair nicely. I love that. that pairs Who nice. needs a giant jello mold or something? Thanks. I needed the Zeb body measurement. That's why Jen asked. Yeah, there you go. Tammy says she bought those. I'm glad I could help you out. So this is plated. It's it's like a medium good plating. Sometimes the plating ends up looking like rose gold, which is fine. Actually, I like this for Christmas. Yeah. So this is a big seashell if you have kind of a coastal vibe going. You could mix your coastal and your farmhouse. I sell these molds for $9.95. Looks like Mary Beth picked this up at the Goodwill for $2.49. Hopefully it was half off Saturday. This one is the Rose Gold Star. I feel like this is perfect for Christmas. $1.50, $9.95. Or you all can make long. a bunch of star jellos. Yep. And then we've got the ring jello mold. These are always really popular, especially with the holidays. People like to like hang ribbon from them and hang them like a wreath. $9.95 for that one. And these are the lighter, more like rolled, goldy, silvery. I would say that this is on the verge of not being. Yeah, well, it's a little bit rose gold, little bit silver situation. And they are, hold on, $8.95 for these ones. And looks like they were $199, $299, and $199. Also and Valentine's Day is coming. This would be so cute in a Valentine's Day. Day. Like, I know we're not to Christmas, but holidays come, come you know what? They come fast, man. They come fast. This year has blown by so fast. I've started measuring time in months. Like, in my Tuesday, Wednesday, what's that? Like, is it August or is it October? I don't know. All right, let's, so the star sold, the seashell sold, and the bunny square. And I like to tell you the things that sell quickly because I know a lot of you guys are resellers, so you can kind of see what's hot, and maybe that'll help you guys when you're buying and, and junking. Is got, this sign getting repainted? Oh, it's getting repainted. While the saying is sentimental, it's going to go. It's, it's a little dated. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. The pressed tin design is good. We're gonna make it, we're gonna IOD it. Sweet. 
It's gonna be 1995, I think. When we're done with the IMD. Let me double. Let me double check on that one. And my prices are all crazy today. Okay. Well, while you're looking at that, we've got a couple little brass candlesticks. Whoa. Oh, those sold. So these are Baldwin brass. They're heavy duty. They're made in America, and they're 12.95 for the Forged set. Forged in Baldwin, America. Yeah. 12.95 for set. Baldwin is actually a really well-made, well-known maker. So, I looked that up. And I saw them selling for about $16.95 to $19.95 on eBay. So I always like to price lower than eBay and Etsy. And this is more WM Rogers silver polish and lasting beauty silver plate. So that is a butter dish. And it's just the bottom. So $9.95. If it was the whole caboodle, it'd be $20. Bucks. But I actually like just the bottom when I'm having a party. And this is a nice big one. You can put lots of butter on it. Well, and then you don't have to lift it up. And if you don't want to do food in here, you could easily, you know, it's kind of like this one here, side of the uh, table or up, up on your vanity or whatever. Yep. For jewelry. And jewelry. Okay, big tarnished silver bowl. It's been inspected by number 18. We know that number 18 is always the best inspector. $12.95. Do we know that? No, but it's perfect for bananas. It's like the banana shape. <laughs> so. Bananas. Hey, you don't want to eat one of those bananas. They'll get banana, right banana, to banana. Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. No. Orange who? No, banana. banana. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. And then banana who? <laughs> I know your joke. I'm not joking. Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? But my joke, I'm too tired We We did a bang up job on that. Isn't that British? Nope. It says forged in America on the bottom. I don't know if that has sold yet, but if it hasn't, I'm not going to be sad. So that is probably one of the coolest colanders I've ever found. It is like heavy, like it's sturdy. It's a good shape. Nice shape. Copper big, on the bottom. Tarnished copper on the bottom. Big, heavy. It's riveted. $19.95 and I paid $3 for it. The copper on the bottom is like it's perfect. perfect. Jinx. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's not too shiny. Not too not shiny. Hands up for number 18. Oh, the sign is $22.95. All right, I knew it was something. I was thinking... All right, we got two more items, and then we're going to start painting stuff. All right, this somebody already painted white. They distressed it. It's really, really cute. You can put a myriad of items in this one. Caitlin, can you look up this one so I don't have to click back and forth? Because I'm kind of This one also has really cute... Ow! Ow, I just hit my shin on the cabinet. Look, the cute little feet on that one. I'm all about details. And I love details on this one. Okay, Caitlin does not have the uh, link up to that one. So let's look at it. Da, 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 da. Moving stuff so we can you are moving stuff. It. I wanted to paint a dresser tonight, but Zeb said no. It's in the back of the truck. We were going to show it, but then Jamie was like, I didn't put that on the website because I don't want to ship this dresser. Well, so we could like, ship it, but $12.95 for this. Oh, and it has handles. Yeah. Cute. All right. All right, one more thing. Stoneware. Right. Oh. Don't, don't drag it across the counter. Thank it's you. It's big. It comes complete with hemp, and this is more of the brown bag cookie art. Have you been getting that from the same thrift store? No. Every time I go to the different thrift stores, I find these. I found one at Savers, one at the DI in American Fork. This was the DI in Riverton, and this is the biggest one by far, and it's got flowers. Yes, we are painting not too shabby. We're getting to it, and I don't know how much I put this. I think I put it like $9.95 because that's what I've been selling them at, but they've been selling fast. Yep. $9.95 for this cookie mold. It's stoneware. Brown bag is really collectible. So, all right. Let's get to painting, George. I gotta paint this. Oh, you're yeah. gonna paint the clock? What am I painting? Do we have, um, do you wanna do that sign? Yes, I will paint the sign. Let me go get the towel of uh, painting. The towel of painting? I was just gonna get this towel. I was towel. gonna call it the towel of shame. But... The towel of shame? Like this towel with a hole in it and dirty. This came out of my drawer. It's clean. It's just stained. Jamie, you aren't supposed to paint that one. Caitlin Elise, I'm pretty sure that I am. But let me check. All right, hold on. She's so cute and short. Jamie, you aren't supposed to paint that one. I got to double check that one. I swear we are. What you need, Jack? Do you want to say hi? Okay, come say hi. Oh, I'm not supposed to paint that one. You are correct, Caitlin. You are correct. Which one are we painting? Jack, tell them what you wear for Halloween. 
Halloween. This All right, is not the Ninja Jack. Painting. It's, it's the after your bedtime. Ball. Remember our deal? And you want to stay up late and watch the new episode of Mandalorian? Mm -hmm. It's the brown All right. mantle clock. Did you put that in here? The brown mantle clock. Yeah, it's right there. I'll get it. Okay, because if I grab it, it's going to get buried. Well, it's going on some of the family uh, candy. Well, you don't need any candy because we're filming on YouTube. We're doing our job. All right. I couldn't find the towel, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna paint. Okay. I'm painting. Oh, you're gonna paint that first? Yeah, well, you know, is there an order to things? I'm just gonna paint. Well, I wanna paint that sign, too. Okay, I'll paint I'm both of those. I'm trying to find another ratty old towel, but all I got is this. That'll be okay, that's enough. Okay. I, what should I paint this? Do you, well, you can't paint There's that There's a whole drop cloth out there, but it's got dust on it. It's a situation. I don't right know now. if I got red or green. Well, just close your eyes and hand me a color and I'll no. paint it this. I got, I got, wait a second. I got red and green. Whoa. Well, I want it to be. I wonder if I can Christmas paint the body red. green and the wheels red. No, that's going to be weird. Why? Can you just paint it all red? All red? Or paint the inside red. Did you see her face green. just now when I was like, I'm going to paint those oh, two colors? Oh, super chat, chat from Sally Bones. Thank Whoa. you, Sally. All right, what is, I got it. My phone is behind. Happy Halloween. Love the floors. Happy Thank Halloween. You. Happy Halloween. I wore a cat mask. I need mask a brush. Like three seconds. You need a brush. Thank you. You're very welcome. You wanted me to paint this whole thing red? Yeah. Oh, this one needs some help. There that you. brush did not make it in time. That brush also did not make it. It's done. I put, I put some red on it. You put some red on it? I think I'm going to go white with this. Swap. When you're done with that, I want to paint the sign. It's going to oh, be like a radio flyer Jack wagon. Jack says it's red too. I like Zeb's threat to watch new Star Wars. What was the threat? It wasn't a threat. We just had a deal that he would be quiet, and I made him. We were having internet issues, so they can't watch TV or do anything right now, and it's past their bedtime. Wait, so wait. I was like, listen, if you guys are chill and you can be quiet and find something quiet to do besides watch TV, because for whatever reason, YouTube's not wanting to stream like it normally does, uh, then I will let you stay up late, and we'll watch the new episode of The Mandalorian. Oh. I see. And he came up. So we'll see. I haven't watched the new Mandalorian. I tried to watch it last night. I fell asleep. This is not the best could you fall uh, like paintbrush for the job. I'm going to see if I have one in the cupboard. That's like a flat. Person. This red wagon is better already. This wagon is better already red. I'm going to paint the inside too. You know what? I'm going to go with my OG French rounds. When Paint Pixie first made French rounds, they had plastic handles. I have had this Paint Pixie that French round. That came straight out of the old craft cupboard. I have had this for years. Since before I was even a Paint Pixie retailer. Was she? Did you buy that or was she trying to woo you? I don't know. Don't <laughs> She's like, here's a me. sample brush. Here's, here's a sample of some Paint Pixie crack. If you want to get the paint and products we use, you can buy those at jamierayvintage.com. To buy the items that we find, those are all at jrbhome.com. Trying to get on the glass, and I totally failed right there. I'll just clean it later. I think I'm going to get one coat coverage out of this marquee. Did Jack have to get his cast book back on? No, he has an arm brace. He's just got a brace. He got his cast he off to wear for two on weeks. Monday, and he's got to wear the brace for two weeks while his arm strengthens again. He it's just it preventative. He's fine. He takes it off all the time. Oh, yeah. French round is the way to go. This is long before there was a big Frenchie and a little Frenchie and all that Frenchie. All right. I'm using the white swan. One of my favorite whites. I just felt like this would be really pretty in a classic white. It's going to take a few coats because it's really shiny. That's so cute in red. I know. It's a good call doing all one color. I know. You Sometimes you like to be a little crazy like that one tray you did with the bohemian blue palm tree did that surprisingly we, is still not sold. Did we? I was going to say, did we need to repaint that? Like white? No, nobody <laughs> else wanted to buy it, so... It also could be that it's like a palm tree. Salty kiss with a bohemian blue palm tree. 
I mean, there's a buyer for everything. It was it was rocking. Sometimes that I just the wheels black. No, I like all red. Sometimes I just have to show you guys color combos so you know what's out there. You know your options. Story time. The item that you said inspected by eighteen was marked eighteen. My very best, so she would know who gave her what after the wedding. She, but it was like a printed number eighteen. She printed stickers, Caitlin. Maybe. I. That's a little much, but I mean, it's good. That's very organized of you. If that's what you did, she Mary printed Beth. stickers. Kudos to Mary Beth. I don't remember who gave me what. Your mom was appalled that you weren't sending out thank you cards. I made it through halfway of my thank you cards. Your I mom was like, thank you what? Messages. She's like, I'm going to have to disown you. Like, they are not my daughter. I know. I like a good old text message. It was like two months after we were married, and your mom's like, you still don't have those out? Or if you Venmo me, if I Venmo you for like your birthday and you just heart the Venmo, also good. Yeah, she said she did that. Oh my goodness. Well, good job, Mary Beth. She did. Her and your mother are very much like them. My sister Deborah, Caitlin's mom, would do that. She loves organizing things. She comes to my house and she like has it come apart. My house is like clean on she the She comes surface, here and she's like, I got to fix your pantry. <laughs> yeah, I'm not an organizer. I'm like, just close the door. Nobody has to see it. I'm the one who puts Except for right now, the pantry at this house doesn't have a door because we had an antique door and then we put it in the bath. We used it for the bathroom door at the other house. And we haven't had a door here for like a year because that's when we did the bathroom at the farmhouse. But it's okay because Eliza organizes the pantry here. She's very organized. I let her do it. It makes her happy. Oops, this door is coming open. Why is it not latching? There we go. I'm painting it and it's like hitting this knob on the back and it's unlatching and latching. The These door. wheels are tricky. The, the wheels to paint because they want to spin around all right i got it okay single coat here i did bring the um heat gun oh that's that what was that white on wood is my gem i call it the farmhouse treatment yeah i like it too I like it a lot. So we've been getting lots of questions about the wood floors. Are we going to paint them? Why didn't we do any uh, underlayment or uh, vapor barrier underneath? So we have a couple of reasons. No vapor barrier underneath because the old side of the house doesn't even have subfloor underneath. Um, it's just straight wood on the, the floor joists. Um, and so, you know, we're trying to do a little bit like what's already there. There's some, the squeaks and some creaks and we don't want the new part of the house to not feel like it's connected or with the house. And we're also putting a dehumidifier in the crawl space. So probably shouldn't really have any like humidity issues anyway. We live in the driest state, well, the second ne driest Nevada's state Nevada's drier country. than us, but we get an average of 12 inches of rainfall a year here in Utah. 12 inches. That's it. Like my parents got 12 inches of rain in Alabama when the hurricane came through. Yeah. Humidity, not really an issue here. Also, I didn't want to do that step. So there's that. I, I actually messaged And since my, it's our home, we can we do, do what we want. want. <laughs> I messaged Sasha from Sweet Pickens. She did her floors like a year ago and she didn't use underlayment because she likes it to squeak a little. And I do too. It just makes it feel old. Um, and hers, she's like, they aren't even squeaking after a year. So she's like, I couldn't get the squeak I wanted. I couldn't get the squeaker and she hasn't had any problems with hers. So there you have it. Yeah. It's not like, like if, if we were somewhere more humid, I would probably do the, uh, the vapor barrier because that's, that's like a thing you need that. Yeah. But here in Utah out West, it's not as critical. Mostly I'm a rebel without a cause. So I'm painting these frames that we're going to sell for $19.95 white. White with the gold, like, distressed through, always sells really well in the shop. And I'm getting prepped. I know it sounds crazy, but spring is around the corner. And so spring, anything white sells really well because people like neat and clean and tidy. So I'm prepping and starting to move it, like, in now. So by the time we get around to January... I will have a nice, white, bright shop. All right, guys. I'm going to let this dry for half a second. I hear a lot of noise coming from the basement. It sounds like the big brother is... Uh...
wrestling with the little brother and I'll be right back. They're just having fun. Yeah, though. it turns not fun real fast once <laughs> the noise starts happening. You never know. It's like laughing and then screaming and then somebody has been injured. And there's no big kids to watch the little kids because Harrington's in college, Eliza's out of friends, and Odelia's gone. Zeb has just put the dad shush on them. He's actually much more, you know, you'd think, people always think that he's the sweet one and I'm the, like, authoritative one. But if you ask my kids, Zeb is the law maker. And I'm like, eh, it's fine. Do what here's, you want. here's the thing. When Jamie's had enough, she's like, Zeb, fix it. Yeah, because they know that I'm <laughs> I'm a softie. <laughs> I used to be real strict, and then I had five kids, and I'm like, I give up. Mostly they're good. You just can't worry about so many things. I know. My mom's so. like, my mom's more strict. Sometimes I'm like, do your chores, because if you don't do your chores, then grandma's going to be mad, and we don't want grandma to be mad. So just do your chores. Don't do it for me. I don't care. Do it for grandma. And they'll do it for grandma, because they love her. She made me a delicious ham and cheese melt sandwich. Evening. My mother is a good ham and cheese sandwich maker. Okay, I think I've got everything but the handle. I think there's a half a ham. Oh, no, that's banana bread. That's banana bread that Eliza made, and she was worried it was dry because it, it was crumbly, so but good. it was it was really moist and good. Where's that other? Oh, here it is. Okay. All right, wet red wagon, way in. Do you so like it cute. red? I'm gonna paint the handle right now, but I'm thinking that that was a win. That was a good call. This is black velvet and I'm gonna paint it. I do it all the time. You know, we always say Jamie paints like 32 things while I'm over here painting one thing. Look what she gave me to paint. A wagon. <laughs> it's true, she is a very Nothing fast, like very fast painter with a brush because she didn't, she didn't even start spraying. I, we've been, I've been spraying furniture for like a year or two and she'd never even tried it out. It seemed like a lot of effort to like hook up a sprayer and tarp off an area. I just get a paintbrush and a tarp. The trouble is she still thinks it's a lot of effort to tarp and she doesn't. <laughs> we have the garage floor of many colors. Yeah. We're gonna have to paint that when we get out. I'm not paying attention to, yes, we're using Marquee. This is Marquee, DIY paint. an amazing Christmassy red. It also works year round though. It's like a good, rich red, like barn red color. All right, they want the wheels black. I can't do I it. I don't wanna do it. I think I'm gonna leave them red. I'm sorry guys. I just painted them red. <laughs> It'll be cute, trust me. All right, am I doing anything on this or are we just leaving it red? I don't know, I think it'd be cute to like maybe stamp or stencil toys on there. We'll see. Let's get the sign done and we'll come back to the wagon. Okay. I don't know what I brought with me. So I don't, I'm at the shop. I have all the things here. I have less Where things. did the sign go to? Do the I sign's on the other side over there. Do I have it over there in my buckets? Yeah. This one's a little bit more ornate than the other one. We have Corian countertops. So if we get white paint on them, it washes right off. It's a DIY until it's filled as water soluble. Oh yeah, it's it comes off so easy. Um, what color am I doing on this? Yourself. Did you pick a color? Close um, your eyes and hand me a color. No, I've got paint on my hands. You're gonna have to get your own color. Just think about what you're gonna do on it before you paint it, because we've got stamps. I, I, think I was I'm thinking do something like Christmassy. I'm gonna go with a fresh white color. Fresh white. Well, I got if fresh white right here, and I got this. This is the perfect brush for that. I was gonna say I need a fresh white brush. There you go. That's well, done now. So fresh. I like when I'm at the shop and I paint things like this because then I can just hang them on the wall to dry. It's very convenient. The black velvet in the middle of this is gonna take a lot to cover. Yeah, but once you do get it covered, it looks good. Yeah. Fire and Zeb on the same wavelength. Where I'm not paying attention to comments, but whoever bought it would like you to paint it white. So there you go. Well, Desert Ranch Girl said her hubby bought me a sprayer five months ago. I still haven't even touched it. Get that sprayer it out. It will change your life. It, I'm sad you don't have a sprayer. It is so fast. It's, if you're, especially if you, you say Desert Ranch Girl, if you're in somewhere that's warmer, like 
60 plus even in the winter you can spray well if you're a reseller too like if you want a bunch of stuff all white swan you just white swan in your sprayer and you go to town all right this has got scry this is going over here this is a very delicate balance dry-ish i need the we need to swap spots because I need to heat gun this so I can second coat it. Oh, and you need to be, be by the power. Yeah. It's like the shortest cord on this heat gun. Jen says she keeps clogging hers. Oh. So you're going to make such a mess. I'm about to get there. My towel. Just not... paint the top. Don't worry about the edges. And I will paint the edges when I get to the shop next week. And then you won't make a mess. Okay getting loud again yeah it's time to just put them to bed it's the reason their bedtime's at night let's see i'm too impatient to brush most of the time well tom because you're like a whiz with the tom has an official area set up if you take long enough i won't need to heat gun it yep can i not have a heat gun well, tom has a right, he got those it. that new sprayer that's kind of like a uh Oh, is it the one that I bought that we haven't used yeah. yet? Yeah. I don't even know where that one is. How's that sprayer working for you, Tom? Do you like it better than we the Cricut sprayer? We bought it. Sprayer? Where did I put it, though? Um, I think it's at the shop or the other. I'm getting red on this from my fingers. The red is, it is intense. you got to be careful. Second coat is really covering this. That's why I love the white swan. So Tom had never used a DIY paint, and he sells a lot of stuff, and he started using the DIY paint. He's like, oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. I'm like, we told you, Tom. It covers, especially when you're spraying, like a dream. The first white I ever used from DIY was vintage linen, and I was like, sold. Because <laughs> I painted it, back then I painted like everything white. Tom says yes, it puts out a lot of paint. Nice. Debbie says, remember when all the paint was in the cabinet in the dining room? Yeah. I remember. Wasn't actually that long ago. Like, well, we redid the upstairs, what, it's been two years ago this Christmas? The green cabinet has held it for a long time, but the paint that I sold, we, we converted our guest bedroom into the website. For a long, long time, people thought we were this big company, but until we bought the shop a year ago, we kept every single product that we carried at our home in our guest bedroom, floor to ceiling. It was a little bit nuts. Because now we have a whole kitchen at the shop and it goes, it doesn't even all fit in there. Some of it goes out into the hallway, which used to be the laundry room. Well, we keep adding more products too. Well, we have people <laughs> that ship for us at night and so we'd wake up the next morning and there would be like a pile of packages ready to go to the post office. Now we do post office pickup. It's great. It is great. Our postman, his name is Chris and he likes to harass me. I gave him a purse for his wife the other day and she works at TJ Maxx. And he's like, well, I don't know if she needs a purse because she works at TJ Maxx. And she got the blue purse, the one that we showed at our um, Thursday for the oh, Stay yeah. Home Shopping Network. And he said she loves it because it's huge and she puts all of her stuff in it that she needs to take to work with her. Nice. It's like, see, Chris, she did need that purse. Well, it had the surprise zipper on the front. I didn't even know. I know. Mm. We have the best postman. All right, so we're going to IOD this. Do we have, I thought I saw you with the new. Uh, so we're we not doing Christmas? Oh, well, I, I want to do Christmas. I wanted to save the new transfer for a dresser. And since oh, you didn't bring the dresser bring in, the we dresser don't get to in, play with so it So you today. guys don't get to see us play with the new transfer. Maybe we'll do the dresser for Waste Not Wednesday. Even though it's... Even though I did pay $25 for it. That's still a good price for a dresser, $25. I mean, that's almost $25. Waste Not Wednesday, we usually do something from scrap or something that's like... Free. Should have gone to the dump because it's so broken. Comment if you'd like to see us do a dresser with a new transfer. We actually have six painterly transfers left at jamierayvintage.com. Or maybe it's five, last I checked. So if you need one of the painterlies, we do have a few left, or at least we did. 
We do have all the new IOD Christmas stamps, so that's why I wanted you to use those, because we have quite a few of those. We just got restocked. Nice. All right, I really should have dried this first, but two coats, pretty much 100% coverage on the clock. I've got a few spots where it wasn't quite dry, and so it pulled the paint off, but that's pretty good. And I'm gonna wet distress it, and it's gonna look amazing. All right, what do you, I'm gonna dry this off. What? Tanya says yes, dresser. Everybody wants a dresser, so. Done. Done done. Yeah. At the farmhouse, we don't really have time to paint furniture unless it's on one of our regularly scheduled live videos. So yeah. Gotta fit it in when we can. I can show you guys the transfer though here in a second because I do have a with me. second coating this cute frame here. Mike, love... Mike from Budget Plumbing came over this morning and he uh, he's like, hey, his, his wife watches all of our videos and he's done a bunch of work for us over there. And he's like, hey, I was watching this video and I caught something on your plumbing that you need to fix. And I had planned on running the plumbing through a wall. But then when I saw that I could hook it straight up to like where the toilet drains out upstairs, I just ran it over upstairs and didn't even realize when I had ran it all the way over instead of dropping it through the wall, it was running up. So it was running uphill and would not have drained and would have flooded the upstairs and consequently the downstairs had I just ran with that. And the inspector probably would have caught it and just failed us anyway. So he came over and showed me a couple fixes on that this morning. So, I mean, I've got to do, I've got to redo a couple spots because of that. Because I was trying to be lazy and just uh, connect it to a pipe it shouldn't have been connected to. But it's going to save me a lot more time and headache down the road. So, Remy says, yay, clock is now mine. I'm glad you like it, Remy. Nice. It will get distressed and clear waxed before it comes to you. Okay, what holiday stuff do you want to do? Are we stamping? So, so we have the stamps. You have to decide what stamps you want to, what do you want it to say and which holiday stamps do you want to use? Ooh, I don't know if you heard that, but the uh, the playing has turned into it's time for bed. There, I think that there's WWF going on down there. In case you aren't from the US, that's the World West Wrestling Federation. <laughs> we uh, we have a giant couch, it's, pr it's 15 feet long by 10 foot on each side, it's like a big U. It fills up the entire basement. You probably see it more at the farmhouse because I think I'm gonna put it in the family room, but the boys love that couch and they roughhouse all over that thing. We bought it because the whole family can watch a movie and lounge on it and that nobody has to touch each other. They can if they wanna snuggle, but nobody has to touch each other, which is good because you get the, he's touching me, everybody can spread out and there is no touching. How are, are they okay, Zeb? What happened? What's, what was going on down there? They didn't sound like they were in pain. <laughs> so I go down there and Redrick's laying on the couch. He's got like two pillows on top of him. Jack is on the back of the couch with two pillows up underneath his shirt and he's like dive bombing Redrick. I told you they have fun on that couch. I'm so glad I paid thousands of dollars for that. It's a hybrid couch so it's like half down and there's always feathers all over the place. Anyway, I knew things were getting out of hand when I heard them down there. I thought it would last for years. That's why I invested in it, but I don't know. Good thing we got a warranty on that. Yeah, we better get them we over here be, before the warranty. We better be calling RC Willie, like, look. And they'll be like, we said normal use. And we're like, this is normal use. When you have a big couch, you usually have a lot of kids. Look how cute that is painted. We're going to wet distress it, and the gold's going to come through. Yeah. So I have all kinds of the new IOD typeset um, stamps. I'm going to let that dry good. out of the way before I put more paint because that velvet needs to set up. Just said that's exactly the way we do it. Kids on the lower level. Here's the situation. Only Eliza lives upstairs. All the kids are in the basement. But the new house, everybody's on the same level. But I'm hoping... It minimizes shenanigans. Well, also, the basement gets real also gross. the playroom is like the boys can get into it from their room without even opening a door. There's a mouse hole into it. Yeah. So hopefully, they, like to stay on that they side. have lots of space. 
stay on your side of the house, rotate the laundry when you hear it beep. We may have to get that theater room done sooner rather than later so we have somewhere to put them. Anna says her granite countertop has every DIY color. So we're gonna have to be a little bit more particular at the farmhouse because it's just wood sealed with wax. It's not Corian. Yeah. Maybe we'll just get patina. Oh, they're loud again. They're on their third strike. I'm trying to give them all the chances because I want to watch the episode with them too. <laughs> so you can watch it with me. Remy says, I think that in the past two weeks I've traded my whole paycheck to the Rays. <laughs> the Rays and our employees, thank you. Ivy was telling me the other day, she's like, just so you know, I love my job. I was like, good to know. I'm glad you, I'm glad you love it because let me tell you, she does a good job. Yeah, we couldn't do it without her. Heidi All right, says she's I've, back. Where were you, Heidi? I've had like six things that I wanted to do. All right. Jen says, wow, that video paid for itself on plumbing, for sure. Heather and Mike are good eggs. We haven't... Mike keeps trying to get... He, he wants to take us to dinner, and I'm like, I don't have time right now. <laughs> we will go eventually. He if actually, we were going to go to dinner, I would go to dinner with them. We so, just don't go so to dinner. So Mike is actually, he just recovered from COVID. Oh, you're not supposed to say the word. Oh, sorry. Now we're going to get the video. We don't it. know for sure. He was anyway, just sick. Yeah, he had it. <laughs> anyway, he's doing great. And I'm like, hey. Come give me your good antibodies. <laughs> You're so funny. All right. Uh, Kaylin says it is a full moon tonight and still Mercury is in retrograde. Kaylin also has two boys, but hers are closer together and younger. So it's real um, fun. I'm missing the we'll O. The what? Were we missing the O or did it fall off in it, transit? It must have fell, fallen off in transit because um, we, we did Joy to the World before. Did we Why do don't that? you just do... All right. I'll just do like a Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry and Bright. Uh, we've done that before too. How about? Uh, I'm gonna see if I can fit. A ball or two for uh, I'm gonna see if I can fit Merry Christmas on here with these things. Didn't they just have a bunch of candy? Uh, a little bit, not more than usual. Yeah, we don't. We get, we have candy in the house. I mean, those are they usually have candy in them. They're pretty good about not getting into it. Heidi says she feels bad because she's high risk and the trick-or-treaters keep knocking. Heidi, you should have put the can a bowl of candy with a big light like on the sidewalk, very far from your house. That'll keep them from knocking. I kept trying to tell Jack while we're trick-or-treating, if the light's off, don't knock. And Jack's like, but they might have candy. After about six houses, he finally got it. I was like, look, some people have dogs and they don't want them barking. Sometimes there's older people that have walkers and they can't get to the door. Stop knocking on the doors without, without the light on. They finally got it. Jean says, this is epic. Heidi, just leave an empty bowl out. Like you had candy, but it's gone. <laughs> I actually saw That's that. That's good. Jean, did you guys do the big pipe that your husband was going to do to like shoot candy at kids? Let me know if you did. We had a couple of those in our neighborhood. It made me think of you. <laughs> Caitlin says, we had kids knock on ours with the light off, and Jonah was just like, they want candy. <laughs> He's very matter of fact, that one. Heidi says she loves it. Oh, they're, now they're all talking about candy. Jen says, I put a bowl of candy on, they took the whole bowl. Okay, so I feel like, I, I was I was winning with the candy bowl situation. I put the full size candy bars and then the bowl of the smaller candy just in case they didn't like chocolate because some kids don't. It's weird, but it's true. And I put a sign on the lid of the candy box that said, "Please take one. We have a camera. Don't make yourself internet famous by taking all of them." And nobody took all of them, so they took my advice. Okay, so I'm gonna have to duplicate a couple what? of letters, but I think. My layout is good. Don't worry, the P is going to go away. I'm just as a place. Oh, it's just right going to say Merry Christmas. Yeah. And then can we add any zhuzhing? Like, what are you, you going to put on there? Oh, yeah. I'm going to. 
I'll do some more stuff. Okay. I'm gonna just answer comments. But I need, I need something. I Jen says she was too lazy to make a sign. Jen, I opened the box and used a sharpie. That's how much effort I put forth. What did Jean say? It wasn't long enough. He didn't want a candy to hit someone in the head. So there was this one lady down the street. She put on the neighborhood page like, okay, kids are all gone. I have full size Kit Kat. Adults come till 8.30. She's like, I'd send a glass of wine down the chute, but it's illegal. <laughs> we live in Utah. We have very strict liquor laws. I thought it was funny. I don't drink wine, but I thought it was hilarious. All right. They're talking about bogans. I don't know what that is. It must be an Australian thing. I'm just wiping. We've got some dust and stuff out from my hands, from the paint and things. I'm just wiping this off so that it grabs these letters good. My dad always wanted to dress up with a pumpkin head and hold a bowl and scare the kids when they put their hands in. That's funny. We actually have a neighbor a few doors down that has their DJs. And so they would set up their DJ equipment and he would scare the kids. But this year, nothing. I was like, you totally could have done that social distancing. So I'm hoping they're not sick or something. Or so they might be out of town. They might be this. out of town. But I was pretty sad because it was always really funny. He'd be like, get off the lawn. And this really creepy loud voice. All right. Do we have, what are we using? Brayer paint? What do we got? What's our uh, application Yes, situation? it's like a rube. Jamie, Tarnia taught me bogan and I love it. But what's a rube? I don't know what that is either. Sorry, I'm talking to everybody. Jessica says she's gonna miss this kitchen. It's okay because Ty and Mariah are gonna live here. And they, hopefully they'll start a YouTube channel and then you can watch them in this kitchen. And everybody thinks Ty's cute, so win-win. Good luck, Mariah. Oh, Ivana says it's not illegal. You can give it away to adults, but you can't sell it. But you probably can't shove it down a tube at somebody's head. I don't know. How are the chickens doing? They are good. We, they're loud and in charge and we'd like to get rid of some, rid of some roosters. So if you're local yeah, to if Utah, you're Utah and you need some roosters, you want some text roosters. the shop and we will arrange a rooster exchange. They're cute. We Silky exchange bantams. the rooster to you for nothing in return. Yeah, you just take it. Just take them. Okay, I don't have It I means don't have a, a slack mouth jaw breather. Okay, got it. So it's called a root. I found the O. Thanks, Mary. She says the clock looks good. All right, we are all kinds of out of supplies. Uh -huh. What are you looking for? I need something to put the paint on. Oh, so I, brought a, I brought an ink pad. You're going to use paint? Where's the Where's the black ink pad? In the box. I don't remember seeing it over there. It's right here on the top. Oh, it's right on the top. Of course it is. Okay. I even brought you extra ink. Well, I'm going to need it. Alright, so while he's doing that, I will show you the new painterly transfer. So we only have a, at the LA Hotel, I think we have like five of these left if they haven't all sold out. These are the brand new painterlies. But we will be able to get more eventually. Now we gotta I hustle up. It's almost 10. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like, no wonder those boys are going crazy. I'm going crazy. I wanna go watch Star Trek. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna put this on this sign real quick and then we're gonna. We're going to say bye. All right, you put it on the sign. Page one. It's eight pages. Page two. You guys have probably already seen somebody else show you this, but that's okay. There's lavender on page three. I like that they're individual pages because I usually break them up anyways. Page four, I love the wreath. Can't wait. This I want to put on a mirror so bad. So I've got to use the R three times in this layout. Josie actually painted these, I believe. Is that right? Uh, they had an artist that did the the uh, woodland Christmas, yeah, which is sold out and not come back this year. But Josie painted these, and if you look at them, you probably can't tell online, but they're like painted with uh, acrylics or oils, and you can see the brush strokes on them. Free, another one. Freestyling. And then, hold on. This is heavy. Some stems and buds so you can really create whatever it is that you want. And then another page of lavender stems. Ta da! 
So a lot of value, eight sheets in the paper. And I like it because it's so much easier to ship than a two. All of the IOD transfers are turning to the flat packs. And we do have flat packs in the lemons and a couple of other different on the website. So check those out. And as they come out with the flat packs, we'll be updating the website to have them in this format. Um, Anna, I'm showing the new painterly transfer. And I was going to use it tonight, but Zeb wouldn't let me paint the dresser. So I will bring this out on <laughs> Wednesday. I wouldn't let you paint that dresser. <laughs> you, won't, you said no. I just um, said I wasn't getting it out of the back of the truck. <laughs> we're going to do it on Wednesday, and I'm going to put this transfer on it. By Wednesday, the transfer is probably already going to be sold out, but I'll show it to you guys anyway, so that way when they come back in stock, I'll have a good um, reference point. This transfer is $39.95. The transfers used to be $30, and you got like half as much for that amount. This is a ton of transfer. Better value. All right. All right, let's see. Going on with the ink again. Oh, there's two left now, Caitlin says. Uh oh. All right, well, there were five or six earlier. Um, I'm going to have to be tricky putting this on here because I forgot that I had used my R and I set it down. I got a little bit of ghosting on there. So I, I think. They are do. as good quality. In fact, I think they're, I feel like they're better made and I love the grid on them. And whenever I would use the other transfers, it was always really hard to save the extras. And this is so much easier to save and store. So I'm super excited about that. Um, the shipping fee, I think it's like 10 something for the transfers to ship them. And if you guys didn't know the post office, has upped their fees for the holiday season. Yay! <laughs> My life is logistics. That's cute. I'm just over here yakking it up and you're over there making a cute sign. Well, let's see. I got my spacing off a little bit, but I'm going to try to embellish it. We're going to, you guys are getting the extra long version. I can you move this? Stuff? Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> my phone was in the way. Jessica says, I want JRV stencils. Jessica, did you say, I thought I saw you say that you signed up to sell them. Let me know how that goes. <laughs> Let me know how that goes. Mariah's in charge. I'm not in charge. People ask me about like Mariah signing. does all of the vetting. So yeah. if you're if you're legit, she'll get you signed and up. If there's not anybody in your same like place where you sell stuff. We don't like have a certain amount of miles. We just don't want somebody directly across the street or the same building. Yeah. Everybody seems to like the new transfer font. I think they do. And we do have some of the old style of some of the transfers if you want the tubes, but you'd have to ask for them because we have them on the floor. That's cute. That fits perfectly. Merry Christmas. All right, what, are you going to put anything else on it? I was going to put, I'm just trying to get So this stamps. is the farmhand letter stamp set. And if you're going to invest in IOD stamps and you do not have any, I would suggest in buying a letter set first. And then um, they have their wreath builder. Sorry that my foot is touching your knee. Well, it makes it so I can't scooch up here. Um, and then the farm <laughs> animal set. Those are like some really great ones that you can use over and over again and really get like stretch your dollar. Um, he's going to be using the evergreen stamp set, I think, maybe. I'm trying to see where I want to, if I can. If you can fit some stuff If in I can there. make this happen. A little berry situation. I'm going to get real crazy with it. What are you going to do? Don't, we already bought that. No pressure. Don't. Well, there's always. I could just slap a coat of paint on here if it gets real okay. bad. I just want to see if I can. There's always. Lolly got boho first. That's actually a really good stamp set, too, for borders. I like that one. It looks good on dressers. Oh, Jessica's on an island, so there's probably not somebody else on your island, Jessica. Yep, to sell my stencils, you have to have a shop or a booth space. Or a like, or an active website. How is the protective backing on them? Oh, on the transfers? I'm guessing that's what you're talking about. So it is just right behind it and it comes right off. So super easy, but it's like a static cling. So 
So that's what it keeps them together, but it's not like sticky. Does that make sense? So it comes off really easy and it sticks really well to them because it's like a static cling sheet. We'll see how this goes. There's a lot of detail on the tin and a lot of detail on this stamp where I'm trying to put this. If this works out, I'm going to be super happy. If it doesn't work out, I'm going to be super repainting it. Off camera. Yeah, we got to got to get those boys to bed. <laughs> this is why we started doing lives over at uh, the shop because the stuff's all there and the kids can go to bed and no biggie. Odelia is better at putting the boys to bed, but she's, she's at a not, party. Yeah, she's she's gone tonight. Okay. Uh it's weird. It's weird. <laughs> you can see where the raises are. Let me see. I'll be the judge of that. I actually kind of like it. Comment Maybe below. once distressed, it'll be okay. Oops. All right, guys. So now you know. Large flat surfaces for this one. Yeah. It needs to be repainted. Now we're going to fix that. We'll repaint it. We'll let this dry. We'll repaint that and no biggie. Yep. All right, you guys, make sure you're hitting up jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products that you saw here used tonight. You can go to jrbhome.com if you want to buy anything or if you want to see other home decor clothes, things like that. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Happy Halloween. I gave you my finger guns because someone accused me of being that this week. A finger gun? Oh, because you were fast with your fingers? I was fast with my reply on YouTube when someone was trying to troll the channel. <laughs> yeah, I think distress this and some black wax on that would be Catch great. you guys later. Love you guys.